Hello Cancer viewers, I'm going to be taking a look into what your person is thinking, feeling, and what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. And this could be a, someone new, it could be an old person coming back around with Mercury retrograde. I'm just going to see how this story plays out. Also, for the Cancers that are drawn to this video, what is the story? What do I need? to know about this situation. What's, what are the updates here? What's going on with cancer right now? I know last video I did a few weeks or so ago, I got that there is new love coming in. So let's see what's going on now. All right, come on. Two more. Four of Swords, the Star, the Three of Cups. So coming out of stagnation and depression and um, more negative type energy. You're coming, you're ha going through this transition right now, I feel. Yeah, I think you were in Hermit mode before, but you're coming out of Hermit mode. You're looking forward. So Four of so Swords, the Star, Three of Cups, the Hermit, the Moon, the Ace of Swords and the Fool. So it is talking about a new start coming for you, probably in all areas of your life, both love and finances and creativity as well. Um, it might be coming into your psychic power a bit more. So looking at this spread, I think it's just talking about where you're at in your life right now. I feel like you're going through a transition. So if things aren't feel like you're kind of in limbo right now so it's like if things aren't instantly manifesting for you that's why I feel like you're in this state where there are some people that you need to let go of and there's some situations that you have to let go of that you're working on um, it's kind of like a death and rebirth process that you're going through right now I feel you know looking at it I just get a lot of back and forth energy here I feel like your trust issues are kind of strong right now it's like with the four of swords I think you were in a period of isolation and depression where you just, you didn't really want, I mean, you wanted to connect with people, but it's like you just couldn't, you know, you were just too tired of everyone and everything. You just needed to retreat from the world for a little while. Um, you know, you went into a very introverted space in the not too distant past. And then with the star here, it's like you kind of regain your energy and you have this hope and faith and you start planting these seeds for reconnection. And with the Three of Cups, it's like we have this um, celebration energy. It's like celebration, you know, friends, family, love, meeting new people. This could be going out to bars or clubs. It just, it's like a very happy, um, you know, free spirited, happy go lucky social kind of energy here. But with the Hermit card, it's like it didn't really. It seems like it started but it didn't last and now you're kind of going back to isolating you might still have people around you but it's like internally you might be isolating and distancing yourself and not trusting people so much right now this could also for some of you this could speak of the um the quarantine like maybe you were starting to have hope and starting to maybe think it was safe to go out and be social or maybe your person was starting to think it was safe to go out and be social and so you kind of have this hope for celebration and good times and this new start. And then um, maybe things started closing again. Or maybe your person is um, kind of afraid of going out. Like maybe they want to quarantine and they're not ready to be social. It could be something along those lines. But for some of you, it could just simply be... Um, just trust issues, you know what I mean? It's like the start. It's like you wanted to put yourself out there for people again. And then you have this period of celebration, but then maybe something just triggered you and made you retreat again and go back into hermit mode. But with the moon, I mean, you are in this limbo phase, but I feel like you're really moving past it. Because you see you have the hermit looking back, but then you have the moon looking forward. And the moon is, it can be fears and illusions, but it's also dreams, it's, it's mystery, it's fantasy. It's, it's using your intuition and doing a lot of soul searching and, and coming face to face with yourself and with your truth, you know? It's just this very raw, creative energy, just being completely honest 
with um, what you need next in your life when it comes to both love and also finances and career too. So I think what it's saying is you kind of had to go back and do a redo. It's like with the Four of Swords, you know, this isolation and depression, and then you had hope putting yourself out there again for either for friends um, or for possibly a potential love interest. But whatever happened, it made you afraid again. It made you feel like maybe you couldn't trust or maybe you weren't ready to put yourself out there or you just had these doubts. Just some type of energy kind of made you rethink things um, or something could have come up and happened in the recent past that made it so that you felt like, you know, maybe I can't be social right now after all. Maybe I do need to focus on myself or be isolated or whatever and you're in this hermit mode. And I think you're finding a better balance. You're like, you know what? I can't just be in hermit mode, but I can't just cut myself off from, you know, experiencing love again and meeting new people and making new friends. You know, I can't cut myself off from the world. Um, I, I do want love. But I also want to be, like, careful. You know, I don't want to completely let go of this hermit energy and lose my independence or, you know... Uh, get lost in wishful thinking like you're I think you're, you're learning to have this balance between the two right now between the two energies you know being independent and kind of isolated and introspective and putting yourself out there and loving and making new friends and meeting new people you know you're kind of finding a balance between the two so that you don't just close off really quickly again like you have in the past um, so yeah with the moon here you really have this phase that you're in or that you're coming up in where you're it could also be the moon phase that's coming up on what i think it's the 6th of july i want to say could be some new energy for you coming in with that but it, it's a lot of um you know like i said intuition and and soul searching and really facing your truth and i want to say too it's interesting because you know the moon can be all about dreams and illusions but the ace of swords here is is about not wasting your time with with dreams and with illusions it's it's using your logic it's um it's power it's clarity it's you know a final battle it's cutting through all the fog and coming through these challenges you know using your intellect you know um really focusing on yourself and your goals i think so I think you might be letting go of something here. You might be letting go of some type of energy. And, you're, you know, you're being strong right now. And and there's, it's, it's just saying there's this fog that you have to cut through, you know? It's just like, it's you're, you're just in this transition is what it's pointing to. For some of you, I think the Ace of Swords is cutting through, um dreams that you had maybe you got disappointed again and so you kind of went into hermit mode so you're kind of just letting go of the people that are no longer serving you you're, you're letting go of the people that aren't appreciating you the people that aren't emotionally available um people that just aren't what you expected them to be you're letting go of those people you're letting go of those dreams and you're creating your new start for others i think that the ace of swords is talking about you cutting through fear you know maybe you did meet somebody who's actually good for you but you realize that you weren't ready, you realize you weren't over somebody else, or you realize that, um, you know, you just still have these trust issues to work through. So it's like you're, you're just cutting through whatever is holding you back, whether it's dreams that, you know, are no longer serving you, people that are no, long, no longer serving you, um, doing cut and clear work, cutting out old connections, just cutting back anything. You're just cutting away all the dead weight right now, basically. Um, and cutting away fears too, you know, and, and just finding your own balance and really doing this soul searching and finding yourself again and deciding what your life is going to be, you know, taking control of your destiny and making your life what you want it to be. And with this fool, after you come out of this transition, this energy, you have this new start, you have this new creativity and new love coming in. I feel two different energies around you. I feel like there's a past person or a current person that was toxic 
maybe an ex coming back around or just some type of toxic energy that you don't want that you're cutting out of your life right now. This could actually be multiple people that you're cutting out of your life. But I also sense new energy too, new love that's a bit healthier. Um, with the Ace of Swords though, that last spread that we had, I think it could be indicating also patterns that you have. Maybe you're, you're attracted to toxic people or abusive people or emotionally unavailable people. So it's kind of like you put yourself out there again, but you hadn't really healed that pattern. You hadn't broken that pattern. And so you went right back into that same cycle of getting into an abusive relationship or moving too fast with somebody or falling for somebody that you couldn't have that kind of energy. So you had to take a step back and really go inward and um, figure out how to break that pattern and develop genuine self-confidence and, and start attracting better quality people. It's kind of like you just, um, you just have that pattern. It's like a subconscious pattern maybe that you have with people that you really have to figure out how to break. I know it's not easy to break it. It's really, it's difficult, you know? Um, it can take time. It can take, it's just, it's a lot of, um, it definitely requires a lot of, of introspection and healing for sure to even start breaking it. So let's see, after the fool, and the fool in that last spread was, it's you making this new start for yourself. You know, you're, you're deciding what you want. You're deciding who comes in and out of your life. You're deciding who you want in your life there. Um, right now, I feel. So what can you tell me about new love? What do we need to know? So I do sense the two different energies. One's toxic and one's not toxic. It's interesting. What can you tell me about new love? Loyalty, High Priestess of Water, The Fledgling, Focus, and Risk. So the Fledgling in this deck is also about new starts. Let me get a few clarifying cards. Let me get one more. Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Three of Swords Reversed, and the Star. Okay, I'll put these down here. See, I think you'll be finding somebody in the future that, in the near future, um, that you feel is worth taking this risk for. With the Five of Wands and the Four of Cups here, I think that there was miscommunication with somebody or somebody just was emotionally unavailable and they just weren't really making the effort for you. Like they weren't talking to you or they weren't seeing the pain that you were in um, or not taking responsibility for themselves and you just kind of waited for them to talk. You know, you see this woman in the Four of Cups right here. It's like she's bored, she's alone, she's depressed, she's stagnant. And um, that was you in the past. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. That's just the energy from the past is what I'm getting here. With the Three of Swords reversed, so it's like there's no more tears left to cry. Like you're not in pain anymore. Like you're coming out of that and you have hope for the future. I feel like this could also be talking about your person. I feel like maybe your person has also been through a lot in the past. Like they've gone through a lot with people. And they're coming out of this pain and they're hoping for you like they're trying to manifest you in their life um, I'm looking at this let me see it's like this person maybe doesn't want to go through the heartbreak anymore they're this could be somebody who's because I'm getting two different readings from this so for some of you this is you and you're coming out of this energy and you're letting go of somebody that just wasn't there for you and wasn't what you needed and you're planting seeds to meet somebody new. But for others of you, I feel like this is talking about this new person coming into your life where it's saying that maybe, um, or it could be an old person, it could be an ex coming back around. But with the five of wands and the four of cups, it's like they maybe were in a situation with you or with somebody else 
where they weren't being heard or loved or understood. There was just like this stagnation. It's like two people were trying to be on the same page, but they just weren't communicating or they were both holding on to pride. And it's like this person is like letting go of their pain. So either they're letting go of um, maybe making it, maybe they made excuses in the past. Like maybe they were afraid of putting themselves out there again. And now they're, they're having hope with you that maybe they can put themselves out there again for somebody. Um, maybe this was you and it was like distance with you or miscommunication with you and there was like a lot of drama and they're trying to push past the pain and the pride and the fear you know the three of swords reverse it's like heartbreak upright but like when i see it um upside down like this i kind of see it as somebody who's like got one no tears left to they have they have no tears left to cry basically they um it's like it's like your person might be like pushing through that depressing uh heavy isolated kind of energy and they're they're having hope they're trying to be strong and have this hope here and i mean being loyal to your connection and you know again this is about doing the healing work with the, with the high priestess of water could also be you know you're a water sign so it's kind of like saying maybe they're saying they're loyal um, to you, you're this high priestess of water energy, and they want this new start with you, and they're focusing on this new start with you, and they're wanting to take this risk, you know, I think this, they feel like this would be, it would be a risk for them, I feel like it's either, for your person, I feel like it's either a risk, for, I think there's two different stories here, for, so for some, this is somebody new that you've just met, or just are about to meet, and they're realizing it's a risk because it's new, like, they haven't really gotten to know you yet, Maybe they're kind of like aware of, you know, uh, this damage from your past or this, this, these issues from your past. And so it's, it's kind of like risky for them. They're like, are you going to want a relationship? Are you going to, do you have drama going on with your ex still? It might be, there might be some uncertainty there. So they're realizing it's, if you're a new person, whatever the reason is, they might be realizing this is a risk or this could be an old person coming back around. They, they, maybe there was a lack of communication or there were just arguments before and it's like you guys really were trying to be on the same page but you just couldn't communicate it it's like you both there were blocks around you but there was so much love there but you guys couldn't get through those blocks before in the past and maybe they're realizing it's a risk because they're like you know if I reach out I could get rejected I could get hurt but it's like it feels like they're wanting to take this whatever the reason is it just feels like they're wanting to take this risk with you they're they're seeing that you're they're feeling like you're worth it they're feeling like this energy is worth it to them let me see what else i can get on this can you can you give me more details on why this person sees their connection as a risk what is what are the details on that like what do we need to know just final spread what do we need to know about this connection what why um i want to look into that why do they see this as a risk like what is what does this energy look like over the next couple weeks what actions like what's the story here what actions are they going to be taking towards you like what do we do to get past this um this risk you know like i said they feel like it's a risk so let's see what's going on with that let's see if we can get some clarity on why they feel like it's a risk and maybe the cards will show us um what needs to be done for them to to take this risk i do feel like they're taking the risk though i do i do feel like they are because you know even though the card was risk it was like it it was a woman at the edge of the cliff so she was taking he or she was taking the risk you know, like they were afraid and they were kind of uncertain, but they were wanting that new start. Both spreads spoke of a new start. So I think your person is wanting this new start with you. They just could be uncertain about how you feel. Um, and again, I do see two energies. So there is, there could be a toxic energy that you haven't let go of, or that could just be toxic patterns you haven't let go of. And so this person just might have this, um, just this uncertainty that maybe you're not ready, I think, or maybe that you won't want them back or whatever it might be. Uh, okay, here we're three of swords reversed again. Two of swords. The chariot. See, yeah, moving forward. It's really, it's good energy. 
Hierophant. Death. Which is, again, it's just an ending. It's a transformation. It's not, it's not bad. It's pretty good in this reading, actually. I'd say it's good. Page of Pentacles. The moon and Page of Pentacles. Maybe your person has just come through, um, they're just getting through their own heartbreak. Maybe a um, recent breakup or maybe just past issues, like just trust issues and abandonment issues and things like relationships from the past. I think there's an emphasis on romantic connections, definitely. Maybe just things from the past and they're just finally kind of starting to come through that heartbreak and let go of the things that aren't serving them. I think, I feel like you guys are mirroring each other. So I feel like, because I, I talked about you doing that in the first spread, but I also get the, the sense that they're doing it too. So, um, you know, you might be mirroring each other a lot. So it's like, as you heal, they're also healing. They're feeling that energy, in, that healing energy. It's kind of helping them heal. Um, with the two of swords though, I feel like there's a, a truth that they're being forced to face. Now this could be with you. If they mess things up with you, they they might be forced to face that truth to to really look at what they did wrong and what they could have done differently to really look at their own commitment issues and their own fears and their own insecurities they're they're being forced to do some soul searching right now it could also be you know them looking at the truth regarding um you know painful heartbreaks and and um breakups in the past too where it's like they're being kind of forced to, to accept that things are over with people from their past um, and kind of just heal from that and, and to move forward with that. I feel like there's the commitment issues. I just feel like they're kind of afraid of, of moving on and ending up in the same situation they used to be in the past. Because with the chariot here, because what we asked was, we asked because there was that fear that they had they fear they had this fear of risk with you but they were willing to, they're wanting to take that risk you know that energy is there for it they're wanting to take it but you know with this spread we asked to look deeper into that that fear of taking a risk and to see what can be done to to comfort them i guess a little bit and i think a lot of it is up to them i mean you know, they're having to face their truth, their their shadow selves right now. They're having to to really look to really be honest with themselves about whatever this this upside down three of swords energy, whatever was causing them pain in the past, that they're you know, they're finally starting to not cry over it, they're finally starting to heal from it. But they're still having to be honest with themselves and make sure and they're wanting to make sure they don't ever go through that kind of thing again. So if this is like an ex that's coming back around and they just, they want to know that it's going to be different this time. Um, I think that they know, if this is an ex, then I do think that they know they messed up too. I think they're just kind of wanting like, like they would want both of you to let go of your pride this time. They would want open communication this time. They would want, um, they would just really want things to be done much differently this time. If this is a new person that you're just meeting, then they're just kind of thinking about their past relationships and where they went wrong and maybe how they hurt others and how they got hurt themselves. And they're just thinking, you know, I really want to make sure I do it right this time. I don't want to rush into anything. They're going to want to take it slow and get to know you and really develop trust before they rush into anything. Because again, they're just coming out of this pain. They're just letting go of someone or of multiple people, maybe, you know, over the course of years. They're just coming out of this phase in their life where they're wanting to go back out there and live again and, and try to take that risk with somebody again and try to love again. But it's, it's kind of like they're just putting their foot in the water. It's like you can't come pull them in the water and they're going to run right back out. You know, you kind of have to, they're, they're kind of have to slowly come into the water if that makes sense. Um, So yeah, it's 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 basically your person choosing between two energies. Like you see right here, it's like she could save this person. You know what I mean? It's like he or she could go back to the like save this person and be with this person. But it's like do they want to let this go? Do they want to let this be dead and look forward? It's like they're doing soul searching. They're trying to make this decision. So I do feel the inner like do you feel two different energies? So so for some. This could be your person, um, well, if, if this is an ex and this would be your person, like, thinking about how it was with you and thinking, like, 
do I want to do this again? Like, could it really be different this time? Could I treat them better? Could they treat me better? Like, is there really hope for this connection still? You know, these, these would be the kind of thoughts that would be going through their head. If this is a new person, then I think that they're trying to decide between an old person and you, or it's just old energy. There might be, like, still kind of heartbroken about things that happened in the past, and they're like, am I ready to let all that go and move on and be with somebody new and try to love again? Or it could also be somebody that's currently in their life, like a karmic or an ex that was toxic for them, and maybe they're not fully sure if that's over or not yet. Or it could just be that energy, like I said, and they might not necessarily, the karmic or the ex might not necessarily still be in their life, but it's like it still has affected them for a long time, and they're just now finally getting to this point where they're letting go of that past energy. So they have a lot of decisions to make. Um, again, I think the fears they have are just, they have this fear that they're going to move forward and they're going to let the toxic energy go. They're going to they're gonna really um, have this rebirth. And they're going to live their life again. They're going to put themselves out there again. And they're afraid that it's just going to all um, end badly again for them. That it's not going to go well. You know, with the Hierophant here, it's like this, this... In this particular reading, especially, I take this really to be an emphasis on traditions and roles that maybe this person kind of has some control issues maybe they um they just like to they overanalyze they like to know what's going on around them at all times they like to have this sense of safety maybe they're they're a little bit afraid to get into that maybe a little bit afraid to get in touch with their free spirited side just kind of like controlled and a little bit guarded and hesitant and likes to take things slow and just kind of uncertain about the people around them a lot of trust issues and commitment issues and they're realizing that this connection would require that energy that death of that energy so i almost think they're like afraid of letting go of the control issues they're afraid of letting go of this of you know how they think things could be they're afraid of of stepping out of their comfort zone and kind of taking that dive that leap of faith and then ending up alone or ending up heartbroken again but they're realizing that, you know, you're going to require that. You're going to require the death of this Hierophant energy. You're going to require that that control and that fear and those blocks come to an end. You know, you're going to challenge them to step out of that energy and into the moon energy. You know, overcoming fears, getting back in touch with that, that free-spirited, intuitive side of themselves. Um, it's like this, this fantasy type of energy we get with the moon in this reading. So, you know, maybe you brought out, maybe you bring out a side of them that they had kind of suppressed, like a more free-spirited, childish, romantic, idealistic, loving sort of side of them that they had tried to ignore, that they had kind of buried their heart, but it's like you kind of bring them out, that out of them. Like you kind of, they're more playful around you. They're more open around you. They're more themselves around you. And so it's kind of more just a matter of them um, not being afraid to be their true selves, you know, not... Uh, not being loved, not being understood. It's kind of like the Hierophant energy was like their safety net, their their secure sense of the world. But they know it's time for them to get out of that and to get into this intuitive energy. And with the Page of Pentacles, you know, make their dreams manifest, make the life that they want for themselves. Like I said, I think you guys are kind of mirroring each other. So I think it's also, I think what it's saying here too is that you're realizing and they're realizing for themselves um you're realizing this for yourself they're realizing this for themselves just in, in general in their life and also with this connection they're realizing that this hierophant energy doesn't work and you're realizing it doesn't work in your life either the control issues the over analyzing overthinking worrying um trying to have this control over your environment environment and know how things should be it's like you know that that needs to come to an end and that you need to get into this intuitive space where you're being your true self and you're getting back in touch with that um, free-spirited side of yourself and you're making it's like that's how you're making your dreams come true is by letting go of the hierophant energy letting go of the control and getting in touch with your soul more getting in touch with your intuition letting your intuition flow and develop in a, on a more deeper level maybe meditating more um, you know just being your true unapologetic self and you know using your intuition and really just maybe holding space for this person but you're focusing on your own dreams but it's just like life is just flowing it's like things are just flowing to you naturally like things are just happening for you basically um and they're realizing this as well you know like i said you'd be holding space for them 
but they're realizing this in their own life too they're realizing that they don't want to be this controlled person or one or both of you are realizing that maybe i think for a lot of you it's probably both of you that are realizing this that, that they don't want this control they know that you're going to challenge them to step out of their comfort zone um but they do want that they do want to listen to their intuition and um you know it's good for you guys to connect telepathically right now too and through dreams because it's like the one place where you guys can connect where there's not this miscommunication. And especially during Mercury Retrograde, there's a lot of miscommunication. So you guys kind of have to just get through that right now, you know. Um, but it's like, yeah, it's like intuition, being your true and apologetic self, letting things flow, letting go of the control issues. That's how both of you make your dreams happen um, in general in your lives. And also when it comes to this relationship is what I'm feeling from this. So... I think just hold space for them you know i think they are trying to step out of their comfort zone they are realizing what this connection um would mean for them what it would require of them and so they're just kind of thinking about things thinking about things right now um but like i said i do think it's really important for you to go in telepathically like 5d and connect with them right now psychically uh, like meditating and through dreams i think that's a really good way to kind of gently pull them towards you right now um because I do still get the sense this is very unfamiliar energy for them. So they're going to want to move slow. Whether this is an ex coming back or it's a new person, whatever the reason is, it's like they're just getting out of this pain. So they will want to take things kind of slow. Um, they, they do feel like you're worth the risk, though. They're just kind of th they're kind of in their head and thinking about this whole connection right now. So, so that's where we're at now. Hopefully in a couple of weeks when I do another reading, that energy will have shifted a little bit. But it's, it's overall, it's pretty good. You know, they, they are... Um, you guys are both kind of in this transition phase where it's like you're you're very introspective you're doing the shadow work right now so it's it's part of the process it really is just part of the process and thanks for watching if this resonates please go ahead and subscribe